Welcome back to the Halftime Report. Deutsche Bank hitting a new all-time low today. Shares down more than 40% over the past year. Today, UBS says they don't expect conditions to improve anytime soon. They cut it to a sell. We made it our call of the day. I didn't know if there was going to be a lot of commentary about Deutsche Bank specifically. I wanted to use it as a vehicle to talk somewhat about European banks, but also more specifically well, our banks. Well, let, let's Bank trade, which we haven't talked about all that much lately, as yields have remained painfully low for those who were involved in that trade. They, they have, but if I could comment first on Deutsche Bank. You may. I, listen, you can Congress comment on Bank, anything you want, the, evidence you, by Weiss you look every at, day. You look, <laughs> you look at a lot of these bank mergers, and they come a lot of times with a high degree of complexity, and you say to yourself, okay, why do you want the entanglement? Commerce Bank and Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank needed Commerce Bank so badly, and for that not to happen, I think, was problematic, and it's one of the reasons why I agree with the sell call. Deutsche Bank used to be, okay, you need low-cost funding. That's the shop to get the low-cost funding. It was that way for 20 years, as long as I was on the, you know, on the street. That changed in 2016. So I agree with this call. I think it's problematic that they were not able to merge uh, with Commerce Bank, and I think there's going to be a, a potential problem. There. I, I don't know why anybody would want to own Deutsche Bank. There's so many banks out there in the world. Why would you want to own it? Now, you could say that selling at such a ridiculous multiple book value own it, but clearly that selling at book value isn't real. So move on to something else. In terms of overall, the banks, I don't own any. My financial plan. You don't no. own any now? I don't own any. I, you know, I've, I've been in and out of B of A. I haven't owned any for a while. I thought you owned City at one point, too. A while ago when I traded it, a while ago. I got out of City. Uh, pretty well, actually. Uh, but, but my play is Visa. So that's not really a financial stock. It's more of a consumer growth stock. That quality momentum stock. stock. It's not momentum <laughs> at all. Right? It's not momentum quality at all. momentum name the we were talking about earlier. Glad you revisited momentum. that. But uh, <laughs> my pleasure. I think but I, I just think the banks, you might as well own the bond proxy because that's all they are. I'm going to read you something that somebody emailed to me, okay? Oh, We're going to remain nameless. So this is guy, some guy here we go. On, All right, here we go. This is, this is good. Everybody's going to appreciate this. 400 pounds. Visa, they say, is a momentum stock and is the 10th largest holding in the iShares Edge MSCI Momentum Factor ETF. Momentum is calculated against either relative or absolute greatest 12 and 6 months behind blended return. Tell that guy that is uh, furlough is about to come to end. He's going right. to get back to the house. To the Thank home. you for that email. Perfect time. <sighs> Perfect timing. You know, we had a good trade going with the financials, with the money center banks and the investment banks in April. So what happened is we had tariffs coming up and we had the Huawei ban and everything. And so the, the bloom is off that rose. But for now, OK, I'm still underweight the sector, but there was distinct momentum in those names in April. You get past this China trade deal. It'll pick back up a lot of these. What, names the bank trade? Book, yeah, the bank trade. A lot of these names below book value. You think rates are going to start moving higher again? No, but I don't think you need to. I don't think anybody is buying these banks for the last six, nine months on the belief that the 10 year is going to be above 3%. If anybody is, why are they're, these, they're why are they going to start? How are they so specifically tied to the China trade deal? Well, that's what's knocked them down. They had a momentum going. Oh, like rates crazy. have knocked them down. No. No, 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 because in April, these things were flying, and the 10-year wasn't above 2.5% for the whole, all of April. This is not a rate. Everybody ex is expecting a flat rate curve yeah, right but now. It, it, that was really on the earnings beats. Hey, yeah, great. Yeah. What? Is there something wrong with that? Isn't no, that I'm lying. No, yeah, no, but, but you're saying it's you're not saying, a sustainable move. I mean, I mean, you've also got trading pressures. You've also got uncertainty in the CEO suite that's going to hit M&A, that's going to hit those fees. So, Stevie, uh, yeah. Stevie, what do we love in investment banks? What's the one thing we love for trading? Volatility. What have we got in this month? Volatility. Probably going to have more of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that if you look at going back to no. Deutsche Bank just for a second, I do think the analyst did a good job. He cut earnings for next year by 25 percent and then like 18 and 12 percent for the for the following two years. I do think that European banks in general are stuck in this quagmire of negative real rates and then regulation. I think Deutsche Bank also has a tremendous amount of head, negative headlines, which doesn't help. For sure. And so I don't see why you would ever want to own. more today. Right. Why you'd ever want to own a European and bank versus a U.S. bank. To me, like, relatively speaking, you would be in U.S. banks all the time. What about to, this trade to, in general? Well, to, to Brin's point, the, I mean, you know, $10.6 trillion in negative yielding sovereign debt. So, and, and Europe still, the European banks still haven't disgorged all of their bad debt. I mean, you can go back 10, mm -hmm. 11 years. They haven't solved that problem yet. And it's been a painfully slow process. Deutsche Bank's also emblematic of much larger project problems. Mm -hmm in Europe with respect to the economies in which they operate and then they have you wanna, all you want to take issue issues. I don't mean to cut you off you want to yeah. take issue with with Jim at all in his sort of thesis of 
Yeah. You know, forget rates. Rates don't matter. These bank stocks are going to start working again. Well, your yield curve is entirely flat, if not partially inverted. So you, you typically, actually, you do buy banks when the yield curve fully inverts and you're expecting a recession and then you expect the Fed to cut and to steepen the curve again. But we, I don't know we're there. We could be in, in rate limbo for quite some time. Don't you feel like we are? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but you know, don't you think these CEOs, listen, I'm long. City. Goldman I'm not saying anything could, bad about no, the banks. No, 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 no. Yeah. But the, the CEOs of those companies recognize this conversation. Exactly. And they're pivoting the business model. You mentioned yeah. technology yeah. before. J.P. Morgan's spending $10 billion yeah. on technology. David Solomon at Goldman Sachs is going out. He's buying United Capital. He's going. He's got uh, Marcus. They're, they're recreating themselves yes, in a different they, way. Yes, they are fundamentally in some cases, transforming their business yes. models, which you're saying there's a difference, as Weiss was pointing out, albeit incorrectly earlier, the difference between a fundamental story and a stock story. Fundamentally, these banks are not necessarily matching up with where I their stocks could that. go. That's a fair Judge. point. That's Judge. Judge. Not incorrectly, <laughs> and I, I think the managements are phenomenal managements. I think they're some of the best managements of any company anywhere in the world. Some. But it takes a while yes. to change your, your business model. Air disruptions, and I think there are other ways to make money in the industry. But I, but I think there are two or three that'll be successful at it. The, the, Agreed. JP Morgan, Goldman. Yes. Let me, let me just put a bow Last on point. this. Do the it. rate Do story is in the stock prices right now, period.